Hello, Homestead team. I'm Chaplain Robert Terrell, and this is your June 5th, 2023 Monday Motivator. I'd like to share a story with you from one of my favorite writers. It's Douglas Adams. He's the British sci-fi comedy writer behind the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. He tells a story about something that happened to him when he was waiting for a train at the Cambridge station. While he was there, he decided he'd get a newspaper to do the crossword and, and buy what they would call crackers. It's these little cellophane packages of cookies. Usually they have somewhere between four and eight cookies in them. I'm gonna call them crackers like the British do. Um, but he bought this, walked over to find a place to sit, and what he realized is it was busy. So he sat at a table with another individual, they nodded at each other, and then he put his paper down. Well, what amazed him was, while he sat there watching people, the individual that was at the table with him reached over, grabbed his crackers, opened up the cellophane, and popped one in his mouth. Adams was dumbfounded. Nothing in his life had prepared him for it. What do you do when someone takes your crackers? So he just assumed that the guy didn't realize they were his crackers. So he reached over, grabbed one of the crackers, put it in his mouth, made sure the guy saw it. He figured this would solve the problem. Now the guy knew these were Adams crackers. He wouldn't eat another one until he did. He reached over and grabbed another one of Adam's crackers. Adam was mortified now. It was kind of too late to say something after the first incident. So he decided, we're in a battle now. He reached over, he grabbed another, another cracker. They went through the whole pack of eight cookies. When the last one was there, Adams reached over and grabbed it, looked at the guy and popped it in his mouth. Ha, victory, he had won. Well, about then the train arrived. Both of them looked at each other and gave each other a meaningful look. The guy reached over, grabbed his paper, walked off in a huff to the, uh, the train. Adams, feeling victorious, grabbed his paper and there discovered that his cookies, his crackers, had been underneath the paper the entire time. He'd been eating the other guy's individuals and rather than, than being the hero of the story, he was the villain. So often, we are sure we're right. We assume we know everything and the reality is very rarely do we know everything. One of the attributes of love the verb is humility. We talk about it a, a fair amount of times. It, it is realizing that we don't know everything. It's not having some prideful mindset about ourselves that we always have the right answer. It keeps us from making really bad mistakes. What is it you need humility in your life on? Where is it where you've made a prideful mistake and just assumed you knew everything and it turned out that you didn't? I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear how I might can help you work on humility because it's something we all need to, to work on and grow in. Also, I'd like to remind you that on June 20th, if you're in the Green Bay area, we're gonna be premiering the movie Coming Up For Air, which deals with mental illness and specifically those who, who love those who are suffering with mental illness. It's free, uh, it's at the Green Bay office, and if you'd like to come, all you have to do is RSVP. But if you remember nothing else, Remember this, our CEO, God cares for you, and so do I. If you ever need me, my contact information is always at the end of these videos. And now, I'm gonna eat my cookies.